Hey everybody, it's Kasha Gage, welcome back. Today I'm going to be working on week two of my project life for 2023. And just to recap, I do have a process video here on my channel that shows my title page in week one, but just kind of flip through. As I had shared, or you obviously see here, I am doing 12 by 12 this year. So it's a little bit different than the nine by 12 that I've done for the past three years. I think four years, past four years, I guess I've done nine by 12. Just wanted to mix things up, need a challenge, need, need to do something different. This one's gonna go by fairly fast, I think. Uh, you can see here, I do already have a photo printed I printed this at home. I did share this photo on Instagram, if you are on Instagram, uh, but really trying to embrace my pregnant body uh, and lean into that. Like we, uh, we did hire a photographer. We are doing maternity photos uh, later in my pregnancy. So probably like end of March or April, but you know, I'm wanting to take photos myself here. So anyway, uh, part using the January Stories by the Month kit that's from Allie Edwards Design and I already have a few things that I separated out just because I liked the color story so that kind of goes through there I think I did share a couple of things or I'm just going to share a few thoughts here um, you know so I am like I am trying to really I don't know have more fun with Project Life this year. Just kind of keep it a little bit loose, not so regimented. Um, yeah, like if I want to add a big photo, I can. Like I'm not worrying about having, you know, all seven days specifically captured. Uh, I am still, I am still doing Project 366 uh, along with three different uh, Project 52s this year for photography. And I do have a couple other things, which I'll mention, which goes into next week. I'm jumping ahead. Uh, I do have, um, I am doing a, a weekly self-portrait project. You know, it's a personal goal of mine to get in the frame every week. Um, I really like, I'm, I'm going to jump around pregnancy brain here today. This is a straight out of camera of that. I really like because it's a lot of black, but I think I'm just going to, I'll try to use this a larger size in a different album, maybe. Anyway, um, and then I'm also doing a monthly day in the life. And I guess I'll just talk about that right now. So for next week, my plan is to do a day in the life. And, um, or currently I'm in this week, I'm doing a day in the life. And then I'll have photos. So every month I plan to do a day in the life. And it will follow some type of theme or use a different lens like hourly would be one uh, from the dog's point of view is going to be one um you know through the lens of gratitude like just different things if you guys want to follow along or just kind of know or maybe it's something you guys do on your own in your own project but just let me know in the comments below and then i can um i can always send you whatever or plans that i have for that so anyway Moving on. Okay, so these are the colors that I thought, okay, they all kind of go well together. And this card though, reading it, thinking here goes nothing, could be the start of everything. I think that might go well with the start story kit or just I want to put that off to the side. So that leads me to, um, I don't... I don't think I want to do one with the tags again because like I said like last time I wasn't the big fan of the lines um, and I don't know if I want to do the three things. You know what I think I'm going to do? I'm going to print these out, do digitally, and I'm going to test out a couple of variations and then I will come back and we'll see. We'll see what, we'll see what works the best. Okay, so I went ahead, I used the digital of those files or the text or stuff. If you guys have been around for a while, you'll know that I am definitely a hybrid scrapbooker, so I like to use physical and digital. One thing, and I know I've probably shared this through the years, but one reason especially why I love digital is because you can manipulate and you can make it work for you or make it your own and put your own spin on it. So I have a couple variations here. I'm gonna go ahead and trim these out and then decide 
which ones I like. So like my, I have two different journal cards, right? So I just did a couple, a couple different variations of it just to see what I think like. So let me trim this out and then we'll make a decision here. Okay, so I trimmed everything out here. So there's this version. Let me put that off to the side. I don't mind that one. I'm not the biggest, I could have changed this red. I'm not the biggest fan. It's like an orange, more of like an orange rather than really a good red. I don't even call that really tomato red, I don't know. Okay, white, I feel like it just needs a little more something. And then these ones. Okay, that's too much. So maybe we'll just go ahead and go this. Like, that's fine, I think. Okay. And then one thing I did go ahead and do. So I have a lot of journaling that goes for this. And this journaling, it could also go in my story album. And maybe I will... Uh, end up putting it in there instead, like reformat the size, but I do have it for here. And so it went with this photo. Um, you know, it's pretty, goes, talks a lot about our fertility process and things we went through. Um, you know, it, it, I guess it doesn't really matter. I mean, this probably will go in the baby album at some point too. I don't know. I'm okay if stories go several places. So I just haven't decided if I want to punch the holes or put it in a page protector. I did go ahead and print this out on my laser printer and then ran it. This is on um, laser, what is it, laser? <laughs> laser transparency film, there we go. Um, and ran that through my mink. So I kind of like that you have a little story that relates to it. Okay, so the last thing I wanna do here Let's see what else I have. Okay, so I kind of like this red. I think I might go back in and change those reds. It doesn't really matter, but it might drive me nuts. Yeah, I just don't think that kind of, that takes away from it. Um, I like these, but I don't like that they're different reds and oranges. So, if that makes sense. I like the idea of creating, right, like a triangle. I have a really hard time embellishing photos. Again, you guys probably know this from being around. Um, maybe we could, let's see about cutting this out. Hang on. I did see people use this all chopped up. So, I don't know, maybe one. Who, what, where, why, when? I think I like just one. Okay. Who, what, where, why, when, new year, or same me, new year, sure, new year. Okay, I'm just going to do one. I like that it carries the black, right, because there's quite a bit of black in here. So let's see if I can get it to, just grabbing my tiny attacher here. Okay, that's good. All right. I don't know if I really want to put these embellishments on it, these here. So I'm just going to leave them for now. And then <laughs> you guys will see whichever one the finalized later on in the process or in Instagram or somewhere. But that's a wrap for week two. I will be back here for week three, most likely. I do not have a scheduled date that I plan to do these videos. It's going to kind of what works, what works, what we have going on. Uh, but at this time, I do plan to do weekly process videos.
we'll see how long that goes, right? And like I've said, to be in the year, it depends kind of on my pregnancy. If you guys have any questions, be sure to let me know in the comments below. Like I said, um, for next week, I do have the day in the life. That's part of week three. And I think as of right now, I'll still be using the Stories by the Month kit. And then I'm thinking the following week will be the Start Story Kit. So if you guys are wanting to follow along. Thanks so much for being here. Until next time, everybody. Take care.